what's going on everybody come back we're going to take a look my first look at one of the Leatherman free tools What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Mid-10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? Hope everybody's doing great and this video finds you well. Well, this is a first for me. Um, I've seen the Leatherman Free Series tools. I've never owned one until now and was really wondering how they would work out. And I've been carrying this thing for a little over a week, so this is going to be my first impressions on it. I would say six months to a year from now, we'll do a follow-up video on how this thing has done. Um, but right now, we're going to get set up over here on the workbench so we can take a close look at it. And we'll take a look at uh, how it functions and what it has to offer. All right, let's get into the Leatherman Free K2. Um, i always been kind of interested in their free series of blades and stuff. And was wondering what they were like and I got this in the other day so I thought well here we go we get to play with it um, closed length is 4.5 inches blade length itself is 3.3 we'll talk about that blade a little more here later um, the weight on it is 4.9 ounces your blade steel I believe it is is a 420 HC stainless um so i will say okay i gotta start off with this the blade the blade itself now in the past leatherman has never been known for their sharpness of blades this is a different story this thing was sharp right out of the box i was in shock in shock in shock I don't have a piece of paper handy to cut, but trust me, it was sharp. Um, I've been using this for well over a little over a week now. Um, I will do a long-term review on how it holds up down the road. Now, let's go over the tools we have in hand. You have the knife. You have a pry tool. You have a package opener, an awl, a ball opener for the end of the day when you've done a lot of work with your multi-tool. Phillips head screwdriver, medium screwdriver, and extra small screwdriver. So, probably wondering where all that is, and we'll take a look at it. the other thing. Belt clip, and it is a movable belt clip. And I'll say if camera will get it. Let's see. I like the logo etching on the clip. That's pretty darn cool. So, here's your options on the clip. You can have it on this side, tip up. Or this side tip up that's it don't get any more options than that so then your locking mechanism that's how that works and it is truly one-handed working mechanism and I will say I like this hole in here kind of reminds you of a elongated uh, spider hole on spider co and you're able to flip the blade open now I'm not a fast flipper anymore um, but I can still flip it open. You will know something about this blade. It's not one of my number one things on a blade, and that's serrated edges. I'm not a big fan of serrated edges. This one came with it. There's more to me getting this knife than uh, meets the eye, as you could say, but I can't go into that right now. But I'm telling you what I got. But I will say that it's a very sharp knife. Let me see if I can find some paper real quick. And we'll show Found you. Found some. Okay. So we're going to take a hack at this. And like I said, it, of course, it gets to the serrated part and it starts doing its thing. But for the most part, when you get in to the edge itself, some of the gun is sharp. And I'm really impressed with that because I'll give you kudos there, uh, Leatherman. You came up with a good sharp, sharpness on your blade. I've never had one of my Leatherman tools have a decent blade on it uh, as far as sharpness and being sharp out of the box. I've always had to work on them. So, 
first tool we're going to look at is your Phillips head. There's your Phillips head bent and your ball opener all on one. And as you notice, I keep flipping these up from back here. That's the easiest way to open them. Uh, when I did get this thing, it was tight. Let me tell you, it was tight. Now this is an awl with a micro screwdriver on it. And it's a pretty sharp point on there. So if you need to punch through a little leather, uh, you shouldn't have any problems. Now, you notice it's locked. This is not moving. So you push up on this and it releases your tool. So let's go to the last tool on here, which is actually, I think it's three in one, I guess you could say. So if you'll notice right there, it's got kind of a sharpened edge. That's so you can open packaging um, like those blister packs or stuff like that. I've tried to use it to open boxes. It's not quite pointy enough. So it would need to be a little more pointy to open boxes. You can open boxes and stuff with the blade, of course. Um, but it's also meant to be a big screwdriver or a pry tool. So it does serve multiple functions. And, uh, you know, it, it does its job. It does what it needs. Now, I've been carrying this for a week. What have I done with it? Well, I've cut boxes open. Let's face it, 99% of our, us guys that carry... EDC every day we're opening boxes or something of that nature. Uh, I have used the Phillips head a couple times. One was to tighten a, a screw on something I have that was I noticed it was loose. So I just grabbed it out and tightened it up. Uh, I also had a retention on a holster that was too tight. I couldn't get the gun out, so I backed it off a little bit. So that's what that's for. Um, I have not used the awl yet on anything. I haven't used the ball opener. But pushing right back here on the tools, if you'll see that. Let me get that to focus in. Come on. Focus. Right there is where you push to get the tools to come up. And then finger through which ones you need. Put down what you don't. And this locks into place. So, pretty cool. Pretty neat little setup. Um, like I said, I like the way the knife deploys. I mean, it's not, if I could go faster with it if I tried. Um, but I like the way it deploys. And I like it as sharp. Now, the serrated edges are more meant to cut stuff like rope or string. Uh, whoop, got some bank line right here. We'll take and see, hack off a little piece of it and see how well it does that. Pretty darn good. So, I give it a thumbs up right off the bat. Number one, for the blade sharpness of the knife. Um, number two, uh, I love the clip. I love how that clip works. It is fairly deep in your pocket, as you'll see. You know, you only have about that much of the tool sticking up out of the pocket when it's in your pocket. Now I will say this, these are metal scales on this particular one. This is not plastic at all. They do offer a uh, different style handles that are plastic or molded, injected molded or something. This tool is heavy. It's really heavy, but I do not notice it that bad in my pocket. Uh, 4.9 ounces you know when it's hanging in the pocket it you know i can feel it there but it's not weighting me down drastically so anyways that's it that's our first impressions of it we'll carry it for a while we'll see how it does and off and on for the next year and then we'll come back in a year and we'll take a look at it and see how she's held up um so that's it for this one make sure you check all the links down below remember if you go shopping at any of the affiliate links below it helps the channel out. doesn't cost you any more. And I would sure appreciate it. And that's it for now. Stay tuned to my website for trips and when I'm going to be somewhere. And maybe we can hook up and hang out and do a collab or something together. All right, guys, that's it for now. Be prepared.